Good evening. I got uh, Home Designer Pro 2014 open. I'm going to draw quickly draw a little box here. Not really concerned about the wall types. Need a box. I've got auto roofs on, as you can see. <clears throat> now, the porch. I go to wall two. I'm going to go over the deck tools. You don't have to use a deck in order to do a porch, but I. I like to use they're usually an add-on and, and the foundations aren't commonly poured with concrete. Okay, we're going to use a straight railing tool and draw a rectangle. You'll notice when you use the deck wall tool, no roofs appear. And that's because decks, by default, you will go to the structure tab, you'll see that the ceiling and roof are unchecked. That's just pre-programmed in. So if you want a covered deck, you have to go in here and manually check that. And you can see there, uh, I'll give you an isometric camera of this, that it automatically puts a hip roof on it. I'm going to quickly run through the different kinds of roofs that you can put on here and how you do them and so forth. But this isn't a tutorial about roofs. But the person asking the question asked about roofs, so I'm going to touch on it a little bit. Okay, so hip roofs, all you have to do is just close the box and tell it to have roofs, and bingo, bango, it has roofs. Now, if you want a gable, let me uh, shift F6, this view here. Oh, there's no, i got to do a, now I'll hit shift F6. Okay, now in order to get a gable roof here, <clears throat> I'll just open this wall here, open its dialog box, go to the roof tab, and check full gable. And you'll see a full gable wall appears. This is pretty straightforward stuff. Now, if I want to shed roof over this, I'd probably want a little bit steeper roofs on, on, the, on the house or box. So I'm going to go over here to uh, build roof over on this build roofs. And... Uh, yeah, go to the build roof dialog. I'm going to steepen the, the pitch here on the on the roofs to 12. And you see it made everything steeper. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to go shed roof over here. I need to have this wall and this wall here, left and right, set to gable wall. Go to the roof tab and set them to full gable. And, of course, that'll, it'll do that. That's part part of the way to a shed roof. And we'll take this outer wall and uncheck full gable and tell this pitch, the pitch options input, to be like uh, 112. And there, there's your, uh, whoops, there's your uh, shed, a uh, uh, classic shed roof. Now <clears throat> that kind of covers the the generic roof thing. Now all, if, since you, if you have Pro, you can do this manually. But uh, as long as the roof system isn't too complicated, then you can just, if you using the commands in the uh, wall dialog roof tab, then you can get that done. Now, I'm going to quickly move on to the rest of the guy's question, which was how, how to build half walls on the deck. Okay, well, let's look at that. I'm going to go over to this screen and shift select. Let's, um, I click on one, press the shift key, and then hold the shift key down and left click on the other two walls get a, to get a selection set. That's what that's called in the manual. All right, we'll open that up and go to the rail style. Yeah, rail style. Now, I'm going to get a post to beam, and it puts a post to beam, and there's the, the beam, and there's the post. And uh, I'm going to go over here to... Uh, on, on, again, on rail style and, and make the rail solid. Let's see. I got an error message when I clicked on that. The current has only one layer. You should select a different wall type. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's about one. That's that's a half wall. Now you can you can control the height of the half wall part. First of all, let's left click and then, okay. So there's your half wall. I don't know why I got the error message, but that, that looks fine. 
I'm going to open that dialog again and go to the Newells and Balancers tab here. And I'm going to set these uh, posts to the Newell posts are currently 2 inch. That's kind of flimsy for a screen port. So I'm going to set them to 4 by 4s by changing that value to 4. And you can vary the height here of the solid part. This railing height controls this. Like if you want that at 42, you'll see that came up to 42. So there's your basic structure. The only thing it's missing now is the screen. Now this is the part that's kind of counterintuitive, and that's the reason I did this video tutorial. This is all pretty straightforward. The roofs, well, it is for me anyway. The roofs and uh, the wall part. Now, the screen can be done a couple of ways in Pro. I'm going to click on this screen and zoom in here. And go to Cabinet Tools and the Soffit Tool. I'm just going to put a soffit here. You'll see this, the soffit form right there. Let me drag it over here. You can see a little better. It's right there. I'm going to take this soffit and reshape it. Reshape it. I'm going to move it a little bit closer. And uh, I'm going to shape it to something that will represent screen. So it needs to be taller and wider, of course. I can do that in a moment. Uh, the thickness, the depth of it, I'm going to set it to 1 uh, 16th of an inch to represent screen. And I can see it, it's, it's there. It's, it's quite thin. I'm going to click on this screen and zoom in on that. And right now, it's, it's the default material. Let's pull that down. So this is going to be a, a panel of screen. Right now, it's just a panel of drywall. I'm going to open the dialog box of this thing, and you'll see the material is set to drywall. That's just the default material when you create a, a soffit. Now, how the heck are we going to make screen? Well, that's the part that's a little counterintuitive and why I did the video so you can see the steps necessary. First off, I'm going to go over here to a library material for, for the soffit object. And uh, I'm going to go over here under, I told you this was counterintuitive. Well, look here under uh, um, masonry in stone and blocks, decorative blocks, and glass blocks. Well, this is glass block, and I'm going to make this look like screen. Okay, so I'm going to assign the glass block to the soffit, and I'll just click OK, and that's what it looks like right now in its native state. Let me change the camera type to a render type camera. That's what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to make that glass block look like screen. Open that up. I'm going to go over here to the Materials tab and click on plan material that'll take me to this glass block and I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to edit that material. I'm going to change the pattern height to uh, just one inch by one inch. And so in vector view cameras that's what it'll look like. It looks a little more like screen. And then we'll go over to the texture tab and we'll make each of these. I'm going to make this whole block here which is currently 32 inches by 32 inches, 32 by 32, to be 1 inch by 1 inch. Now let's look in, at that, what that does. It makes it look, in vector view camera, it just looks kind of, well, in, a, in a, uh, this camera here, it looks kind of gray. So I'm going to use another tool. Where is that thing? I'm going to click on this screen. There it is, the tricolor tool. It's a just material definition tool. I told you it wasn't intuitive. So we'll click on that. And we're going to adjust the properties of the material now. And I want to make it transparent. And uh, let's see. So here's the transparency slider. I'm going to make it more transparent. And then we'll click OK. Whoop, that, that was a little bit too transparent. Make it a little bit less transparent. There we go. Now that, that looks like screen. Now I'm going to change the camera type back to vector. That's what it looks like in vector view. 
and then back to uh, render view. Now, this is sitting outside the wall. I'm going to drag it into the wall with the control. I press the control key, left click, and drag it. So that, bingo, bango, there's the screen. Huh? It looks like screen. Of course it does. Okay. I'm going to zoom back. And then you, I'm just going to copy paste this. Now this is, you can use a, in Pro you can make these, uh, these little screen pieces out of custom slabs. You can, uh, once this material is, becomes a plan material, well, you, well, let me just show you. There's one other thing. Of course you might want a screen door. Let me put a door in this thing here. And it just kind of puts a door there, a door opening. You have to open the dialog box and um, change this door type from a uh, uh, hinge. I'm going to change that also to glass. Okay, now you got a door there. And this, with these solid uh, railing walls here, this is what it does. So I'm going to resize this up so it looks more like a rail door door. We'll open the dialog box of the door, go to its material tab, go to the glass, and you can see it's got glass standard on there. I'm going to switch it to the screen. We'll go, let me, I click on plan material, door glass, plan material, and then we'll find the glass block. The one, that I, the one that I changed, this one is uh, kind of the standard one, This the one I altered. See now, it's a screen door. So you can do this in Pro. Uh, it just takes a little thinking out of the box. If you don't want this sort of a finish on there, you can put a different material on, on that. But that's a screen porch, and that's screen. And uh, nobody knows how you and I did it. And as long as it looks like what we, we say it is, and then we've, we've done what we're supposed to do. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Uh, it, it took me years to kind of figure this out and pick this up from other people, and I thought I'd just share it with you. Okay? Thank you very much.